Welcome to another episode of Ugo Smokes. I'm your host, Ugo. Today I'm going to be smoking the Foundation Cigars Charter Oak in a six and a quarter by 46 Lonsdale format. And the wrapper on this one is a Connecticut shade over Sumatra binders and fillers from Nicaragua. Um, as far as my previous experience with Foundation Cigars, I do have a short on the Tabernacle, and that was a pleasant cigar. Um, I didn't give it a rating, but um, it was it, it was a very uh, hearty tobacco on that one. So watch out for that one. All right, let's go ahead and uh, check out the aromas off of this wrapper. Getting some oak, some uh, almost like a petroleum oil. Yeah, uh, it's a close foot, so. Oh, nice. Getting some uh, some sweetness. Oh, it's stinging on the sinus. All right. Let's uh, cut her up. Let's go ahead and use the, uh, the V-cut for this one. Nice open draw. Sweet tobacco. Kind of reminding me of like a vanilla scent. And maybe like a little bit of raisin. All right, it's a close foot, so let's uh, just light her up, I guess. All right, right off the bat, uh, bitter uh, coffee, um, uh, pepper, and lots of minerality on this one. Yeah, this is a started off pretty, uh, pretty full body flavor. Uh, this uh, charter oak. So yeah, let me keep smoking this down past the first third and I'll be back for an update. Welcome back. I'm uh, halfway through the second third. Uh, I kind of missed the first third because I was doing a live. <laughs> but the burn line and the ash is immaculate on this charter oak. Um, during the first third, the beginning and during the first third, it was a bit harsh on the um, retro hail and even uh, um, on the flavor itself. It was just very pugnant pepper. Um, somewhere along the first third, it calmed down a lot. It, it, it turned into a very enjoyable cigar. Now the retro is very enjoyable. Uh, just getting notes of, of, of cedar. Still some slight pepper on the retrohale, just uh, as a secondary note. Um, it's still a little bit lingering within my mouth. At first, the smoke was chewy textured. Now it's it's uh, chewy to arid, so, um, not that thick. Yeah, so the retrohale is about a three or four out of 10. Um, 
yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good Connecticut. As you all know, I'm not a big fan of Connecticut's. Um, I lean more towards uh, Maduro's, uh, Connecticut Broadleaf, you know, the darker wrappers. But, um, you know, got to be open to everything, right? And it's Foundation Friday today, so that's why I'm smoking this one. Yeah, I got some nice cedar and oak uh, in the palette and in the retro hill. Very enjoyable stick. All right, let me uh, keep smoking this down, probably to the end, and I'll be back for uh, my last update and closing thoughts on this Charter Oak by Foundation Cigars. Welcome back. I'm at the end of this Charter Oak, Connecticut. As you can see, the ash is nice and white and stacked. The burn line is pretty much straight and still getting lots of smoke. So yeah, the primary flavors on, on this last third are, are just a, an abundance of nutty notes on the palate. Um, sweet, creamy smoke. The retrohale is uh, still very smooth. Slight pepper on the retrohale. Uh, it's a short finish, not lingering. Very enjoyable Connecticut. Um, it's been burning for about, let's say, an hour and 10 minutes. Um, so the price point on this cigar is pretty much, a, it's a $6 stick, whether you get a single, a, a five pack or a, a 20 count box. So about 120 for the box. So yeah, this cigar is definitely a box worthy stick in my opinion. Um, definitely a Connecticut that I'm gonna have in my rotation. If you guys have had this cigar, Go ahead and comment. Let me know if you like it, uh, if you're a Connecticut person or not. Um, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys can uh, join in the uh, giveaway. If you're just on YouTube, I'm going to post, uh, I do a post on YouTube and you guys can uh, enter there as well. But you got to uh, follow Sanj and Unicorn Hunters page, right? So that's all I have. Um, catch you guys on the next one and have a great day.